Yeah, how's everyone doing? Good, I hope. Yeah, sorry about the light and uh, the, the, the electricity's gone on my house, so I hope you, you can see me, you know. So, anyway, I'm going to talk about the Intellivision Amigo. Bad news, it's over. Uh, Intellivision just closed the fourth uh, crowdfunding campaign, saying they're not accepting any more investment. Now, now, Start Engine is the name of the crowdfunding website. If you go to the web page, it says Intellivision has closed off f um, um, f future investments. They're not accepting any more investments. So that means they're not accepting any more money. They have 58,000 and they need 5 to 10 million. <coughs> um, so, and, and that's just to keep the company stable, to keep it up and running well before any Amigos can be built or anything. So, it's all over. And uh, like um, we think that they've they've taken the money, and they've left because they didn't. This is not. They didn't come out publicly and tell everyone about this. Now they just did it on the court and close everything down, and we believe that they've taken the money and they've gone on holiday or whatever. So, <laughs> um, and television only has enough money to last till July, and they know this. So they're getting out now while they can before anyone becomes wiser. But but everyone knows, you know, so uh, it's bad. It's really, really bad. Uh, you know, I feel, I feel bad for the investors that put a lot of money into this. I feel bad for the fans that pre-ordered it, that got scammed out of their money. And I hope these people get the money back. And if it was them, we like, take them the card before they all just disappear because they're all vanishing, so they can't be caught. You know what I mean? <coughs> now, um... Uh, see, um, I'm, I'm hoping that these people, Phil Adam, Tommy Tallarico, all the bar, all the bar members that were, that orchestrated this whole scam right from the, from the get-go, that took the money and left. I hope they have a conscience. I hope they give people their money back at the least and, and apologise. And apologise to everyone for lying to them, for scamming them. But I don't think they're going to do that. They're getting out quietly. That's why they didn't go public with this. Uh, but if you go to Start Engine, it says, that's the only way to know about it. So it could be that it doesn't tell you anything it was on the run. You know what I mean? Yeah, so uh, I hope uh, these people get their money back. I hope that, you know, Tommy Taylor Rico, Phil Adam, the whole lot of them are taking the cart. Because uh, this is te technically illegal. This is illegal in my opinion. This is fraud. They lied, they deceived people, they took people's money, uh, and that's it. Now, the thing is, Re, now, I'm not a lawyer, Re, but these people that invested the money, if they signed something, Re, let's say a contract or something like that on te in television or in agreement documents, we assume, Re, we don't know, we never did that in later, so we assume... Uh, legally, we, if there was a, a a a document where an investor signed it, um, Tommy Tommy Tallarico or the CEO or whoever signed it as well at a date and a time, if that exists, that's the only legal thing that these people can use against them to get their money back or to get them prosecuted, charged with fraud, because that's what this is, you know. But I believe that the uh, I don't know, I'm only guessing, but I assume that these sort of documents don't exist because in television, Tommy Tallarico, Phil Adam, all these boys, they orchestrated so they could get the money and get away without anything happening to them. Well, firstly, that's the way it goes. See, sometimes CEOs and corrupt people get away with it and the ones that pay the price, the ones that suffer are the ordinary people like myself and the ordinary workers at, at in television, they're the ones that are going to get screwed but ultimately the ones that are getting screwed the most are the investors and the people that backed it. So this is terrible, you know, and like, um, it's really, really bad, you know, and like, I we'll just, we'll just hope, we'll just hope for the best that uh, these people, Tommy Tallarico, the whole lot of them are get caught before they leave because we hear that Tommy Tallarico was going on, on tour with a thing called Games Live or something like that. Stop him before he bars the plane or the boat or whatever. Drag his ass into card and, you know, because these people won't apologise, they won't give any money back. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, um, 
there's no excuse for this, and there's no. There's no denying that that's what happened, you know. What I mean, yeah, you know, because it's just terrible. It really is, and like I said, I really feel bad for the people that that that, that got scammed out, just got taken for a ride, and the people and the people that defended them all this time. This amazes me, you know. What I mean, I don't know, like you know. Um, now with Atari and the Atari VCS, the same thing could have happened. I could have been scammed. I could have been. But I wasn't, luckily. But I had faith in Atari. But Atari showed everyone what, what they were doing. They were they were, like, they were, were completely transparent in everything they were doing. Even though haters were saying, that's all made up, that's, 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 that's Photoshop or whatever. It wasn't. They were completely transparent. Even when it was bad news, even when they were attacking journalists and YouTubers, you know, they were transparent about it. Whereas in television, where... They were saying something and doing, doing the complete opposite. So that's bullshit. Misleading and what's wrong. So that's what they were doing all these years. Instead of taking the money that they were given to develop this console. They didn't do that. They just let people along. They they got a cult together to defend them. And they got the money they got out. End of story. So, like I said, I hope Tommy Telly Rico filled at them. Uh, like Phil Adams going on a vacation, we believe. So they're all getting away with the money. Look, I said, stop them at the airport. Like the only ones that can do it and to stop them are the investors and the cultists, the people that know them. You know what I mean? That know where they live and or if it, or whatever. You know, they're the only ones that can stop them, bring them to court, and try and do something about it. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think right now they've they've gotten away with it. And there's nothing anyone can do. But I hope I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, the other thing, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm not a liar. I don't know how it works, investments or anything like that. But something, something has had to have been signed, you know what I mean, by somebody at date and time. In black and white, you know what I mean? In agreements, you have to sign off on something. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> like, um, now, with the Atari VCS and Indiegogo, Oh, we had to agree to the terms, if you know what I'm saying, to, of Indiegogo, before we gave them my money. Now, I didn't technically show him my, my address, my, my name, but he, he agreed, you know, to accept the terms. So he, I had to give him my name, my address, and my, um, my money. $374, the entire VCS collector's, collector's edition was. But nothing would be get going... It, it, if we didn't hit that agree button, nothing would have would have taken off. If you know what I'm saying, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming with the Amico and their crowdfunding thing with Fig, they had to hit the agree button before it ain't gonna happen. You know, so if that is the case, it just fuck all you can do, and we think that's the thing. You know, uh, you just have to hope that these people do the right thing, and they didn't. But with Atari, they did. With you know, uh, we, we had to fight because, like I said. Over over forty updates for the Atari VCS. Okay, some some of them was bad news, and for a long time we went to, with, without any information from Atari because we believed they were working hard on things which they were. They were it takes time, but a lot of people jumped the gun saying, uh, "How come they're not giving us any information? That's a scam." What are they doing this? What are they doing that? Patience, people. But it was obvious to me that. In television was a scam because they didn't show anything. All words, but there was nothing. No photographs. There's no um, internal schematics of the of the motherboard. Look at Harry. Harry showed everything. The, the, how how much it weighed, the materials, everything. And even the Harry said that at all made up. But it's real, you know. Um, um, but you know, uh, but there were a few shady things that Harry did do. But ultimately. We believe in it, you know. And when when I saw Rob Roy playing Centipede on the prototype board, that was it for me. Even though the, it was far from being completed at that stage, when when they showed off the prototype board by AMD, that was update twenty something. So we were a long way from the finished product. And like uh, COVID, the pandemic slowed things down, but you know, like and um, but got it done, mission accomplished, and. This year is going to be a great year for Atari. There's a new game coming out called Combinera. 
it's a new OEP by Atari. It's a puzzle game. It's nothing like what I've ever seen before. It looks awesome. That'll be coming out in April. So Atari are doing the right things and they're bringing it out on every system, Nintendo Switch, everything. And um, there's going to be more recharge games. Uh, uh, Wade Rhodes and says, over the next 13 months, Atari is going to be bringing out games you know, themselves. So that's awesome. You know, so Atari are doing the right things. And you know that's what in television should have been doing. Transparent. It's you know, as far as I know, there were no um tech any like blueprints or anything like that. Atari showed everyone exactly what they were doing. The insides of the controller, how it was made, how it was put together, everything. They even showed uh, pictures of the fell the fellas in the factory putting it together, and even people were calling the haters were calling that a scam, calling that a scam, you know. But when te- in television there was none of that. It was just Tommy saying, ah, it's it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out. You know, I mean, the, the pandemic is slowing us down. There's a chip shortage, and everything. But all the world, they were taking people's money and put it into their own bank accounts. So, so here's how I think that. Here, here's how I think that works. Now, I don't know. Like, a television has a bank account, just like everybody else, right? And uh, when they get money from Fig and other crowdfunding websites, it goes straight into the Intelligent Bank account. Right? And they get access to that PIN number, just like any bank account. Um, they all know this PIN number because they work there. They go up every weekend to take so much out, so much out, so much out. Because there's only so much you can take out at a time. Well, for a, for a corporation, maybe they could take out 20 grand a day or something. I don't know, but I always sell more today, and it had to be deal with so it doesn't seem obvious that they're taking the money. But who's to know what they're doing? You know, you know what I'm saying to you know. So that's what we believe. They were doing over time. They were taking money out, money all the money that was going in to to on television. They were taking it out on a weekly basis, paying paying themselves off, and getting away now. They're going fucking a vacation or whatever the fuck they're doing. So it's really, really terrible. It really is. And like, it could have been. I was actually looking forward to the Amigo having in television back, in television and Atari once again, because I remember them days. And it would have been awesome, in my opinion. So, you know, now it's like, you know, the Amigo over time, we could have gotten better games, like, you know, whatever. I don't know. Who knows what the what the passive bridges could be, uh, you know, but it's not gonna happen, unfortunately, you know, it's over, so, 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 like, that's what I'm saying, and television didn't, didn't go public with this, they didn't tell anyone, to just close down investments for the Star Dancing campaign, saying, adios, we're off, boy, you know what I mean, they, 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 they didn't even say that, they just closed it down, and that 58 something thousand, they were hoping to raise 5 million, but they realised that's impossible, and, um, the, the, the other day I was saying that the only positive news is that Tommy Tallyrico's cousin is Stephen Turner of Aerosmith and there's a chance that he might give them the money but it looks like that didn't happen and look even if he did that would just stabilise the company it wouldn't necessarily lead to the manufacture of the Amico because like I said Amico in television has enough money to last in July based on what I've always to- told and stuff so come so July it doesn't matter. It's fucking finished. If he, so end the story. Unfortunately, but that's the way it is, you know. And like I said, I hope these people get, you know, get their money back. I hope Tom, Tom and Tommy Rico and the rest of them have a conscience and do the right thing. But they're not gonna do that. And I don't think these people have any legal right to to bring them the card. But the only way is if, look, like I said, if they signed something on the bottom with a date and time, and if Tommy signed it, but I don't think that happened. Or think it was just like Indiegogo, where you just had to accept the terms, and that's it. So anyway, sad, sad news, bad, bad, you know, um, uh, terrible, terrible, you know, and anyway, that's 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 my uh, news, news on that, and my opinions on that. So, yeah, terrible day today, no electricity. So, it'll come back eventually, you know. So, anyway, I, I hope you are all doing well. Take care and bye-bye.